Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I hope you're well and if you like what I do, leave a review. Uh, just go to my website. All of my recordings are on my website, jasonnewland.com. I don't know if you can hear, but there's uh, uh, whew, there's a lot of rain outside. I suppose there's always going to be a lot of rain when it's raining. It's not going to be like five raindrops, but you know what I mean. It's quite particularly rainy right now a bit windy as well and none of that is relevant to the recording but if we took out all the irrelevant stuff my uh, half hour recordings would only be about two minutes long so you know need a little bit of a filler to span them out <laughs> so I thought I would just do another kind of a similar thing to what I did in my last recording. Uh, another way to uh, always get a yawdy when I make recordings. The reason for that is I start to relax. My mind kind of gets into the zone, if you know what I mean. Just start to just sort of let go of everything and just feel calmer. And you may find that happens to you as well. And maybe it is just hearing my own voice. It just, that might be it, it might be a trigger. I mean, I've been doing these recording things for over 14 years so I guess my um, my ears just have become uh, accustomed to feeling relaxed when I talk however This, uh, this recording will require a little bit of uh, focus. So what I'm going to ask you to do, it's nothing big, it's not going to be a big complicated thing because I don't do complications. But I want to think, I want you to think about something Something that happened today or in the last, you know, couple of days. Something that you think about it, uh, when you think about it, it increases, it causes your anxiety or your stress levels to increase somewhat. Something that just bugged you. And when I, when I mention these things, I'm not talking about something huge. So I'm not talking about, you know, if you'd been to a funeral or something like that. I'm not talking about that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm talking about um, maybe an interaction you had with a work colleague or a family member. Uh, that kind of situation where... Perhaps they said something that, and you left the conversation feeling a bit crappy, you know, or maybe you said something to them that you regret, you know, it can go both ways, can't it? And when you think about it now, it, it causes levels of stress to increase, like naturally, that's just what naturally happens. 
at the moment before you know we do anything with that memory and I want you to kind of give it a judgment you know sort of if you was going to say your stress levels between 1 and 10 you know 1 being nothing and 10 being the the most you know the highest level of stress that you could experience I just want you to gauge what the stress level is on this memory of this recent event so for example maybe you give it a 4 maybe you give it a 2 maybe it's a 5 but hopefully it's a bit below that but it might not be I don't know it's all it's all down to our own personal uh, experience isn't it our own personal feelings So now I'd like you to focus on that feeling. So where do you feel it in your body? So you've got the emotion, you've got the memory, but where do you feel it in your body? Is there a place where you feel it the most? Might be in your chest, maybe your hands, maybe in your face, maybe your back, your stomach, your jaw, your neck, your head, shoulders. I mean, I'm just giving you a few body parts, but you know, it's, I know that you can't tell me where you feel it because this is a recording. So I need you to focus on that body part that you physically experience that stress and you may feel it in different parts but where do you feel it the most where's the strongest feeling in your body and I'd like you to focus on that and I realised that focusing on it is uncomfortable yet pushing away is even more uncomfortable so you're allowing it to be there you're allowing it to be there you're acknowledging it in a way you're welcoming it you're allowing it to be there so you're not trying to distract yourself you're not trying to push it away not trying to deny it it's just there the feeling is there So what I'd like you to do is to focus on that feeling. And as you said, notice what number it is. And have that feeling with the, the gauge of what number it is between 1 and 10. So if it's, for example, a 4, you can see that it's a four on that gauge, that measurement of your stress or anxiety levels surrounding that event that happened recently. And just notice how it feels in your body. And what I'd like you to do is something that is the complete opposite to what you would want to do. But just go along with me and it will all make sense. I'd like you to increase that level. So if it's a, a four, put it up to four and a half. If it's a three, put it up to three and a half. 
but just add a half a level into that feeling so it increases and just notice how your that part of your body feels as the stress and anxiety increases now put it back down to what it was before the original feeling so maybe a four or a three whatever it was before just put it back down to that level notice a difference notice how just by putting it back down by a half a measurement that there's a degree of relief there yet you weren't experiencing that, that relief before I'd like you to raise it up again a half point a half measure like you did before and notice the difference in that stress level as it rises slightly. Noticing that feeling. And now lower it down. But this time, lower it down not just to the point you had it before. So let's say if it's three and a half now, Lower it down to three and then go down to two and a half. And notice just how relaxing that is. Noticing the relief you can get from that decrease. And technically, you've only decreased it by half a half a measurement, but actually, it feels like a lot more than that. So, what seems to happen here, though, is your mind has been comparing the difference in feelings, the difference in sensations, and your mind decides which one it prefers. Your body decides which one it prefers to experience. So you could try to raise it from, for example, two and a half back to the highest level it was, three and a half. Or your equivalent, if it's four and a half back to five and a half. But it won't go that high anymore. Even by willing it, by willing the anxiety and stress to rise your body just won't allow it your mind just won't allow it because it doesn't want that anymore because with that event that happened that you were thinking about before which uh, had that stress level anxiety level connected to it You'd never experienced the lower threshold before. You'd never experienced thinking about that and the, the level of stress being lower. And now that your mind and body has experienced that, it prefers that lower feeling.
So now as you focus on that body part that represents that stress and anxiety levels for that memory, you allow it to just fall down another number. So if it's a three, drop it down to a two. If it's two and a half, drop it down to one and a half. So whatever number is that now, drop it down to the next whole number below. And notice how that feels. Just sitting in the moment, sitting and experiencing the feeling that level of comfort, relief, relaxation that comes from just lowering that sensation. And again, what you can do is try to raise it. but your body and mind doesn't want it to be raised. Your body and mind actually prefer the level that it's at now. Doesn't want to go higher anymore. If anything, it's happy to stay where it is or become even more relaxed. It's not even allowing you to raise it any higher because your body feels more comfortable, your mind feels more comfortable. Why would it allow you to raise it higher when it's experienced the feelings, the comfort of that lower level? stress and anxiety, that increased level of comfort and relaxation. Why would it do that? It won't do that, that's the thing. It was okay before because it didn't know. And it allowed you to increase it. Not really paying much attention other than just accepting that that's the level it was at. Accepting that pain, emotionally pain and stress and that discomfort that was there was just naturally there. Your mind didn't question it, your body didn't question it, kind of accepted it. But now that you've shown yourself that you can indeed feel way more relaxed in your body and mind when you think about that situation that occurred recently. that memory is no longer a trigger to cause anything. Because as you now think of that event, that level, whatever level it's at now, just, just starts to sink down. sinking down like water down a plug hole and it doesn't really make sense it's like how can how can you think about something now and it has no effect emotionally on you yet before it, it well clearly before it did but now it doesn't and that's an interesting an interesting thing isn't it I suppose it's kind of like the you know when you go to the dentist with a toothache and then you get to the, you get to the dentist and 
they, you know, you, you can't remember which tooth was aching. I've had that happen in the past. It's uh, it's a little bit also, you know, when you uh, you hurt yourself, you hurt like a finger or something, and it's aching, and then, and then one day you realise it stopped hurting, but you don't know when it stopped hurting. Was it today? Was it yesterday? Was it at three o'clock? You don't know because it's just stopped. You're just not bothered about it anymore. It doesn't have an emotional impact at all on your life, on your mind or on your body. Because it's it's almost insignificant. Just like, you know, when you empty a, the remains of your food off your plate, off your dinner plate, you put it into the bin. You're not thinking around six months later, oh, I wonder what happened to those vegetables and those potatoes that I, that I put into the bin six months ago. No. Well, if you are thinking about stuff like that, you need to get yourself a hobby. And it just changes naturally. And I think it's quite fascinating, really, how easily, easily our minds change the way that we perceive something that perhaps used to be an issue, but now is insignificant. So that you now feel relaxed when you think about that issue or that situation. Because feeling relaxed and calm is a natural way to be. Very natural. Just like sleeping. We're born with the ability to sleep. We are born with the ability to relax. Now, that brings us to the end of this recording. Let me know how you get on. Perhaps leave a comment on my website or on the podcast, and I will speak to you very soon. Remember to be kind to yourself. you do deserve to be happy lots of love